say thank you. Lizzie. Don't you just love Kenyan rock? I mean, like something so relatable, not so foreign, something you can relate to, you can sing along to. And of course, playing right here by our very own Kanyeki. And guess what? He is in studio with us. Now, for those who are wondering, Kanyeki, Kanyeki, Ninani, Kanyeki is. Ah, Kikuyu, hard rock singer, songwriter, performing and recording artist from 254. Can you put our hands together for Kanyeki? Of course. And he is in studio with us. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm good. Bro, when was the last time you were here? I cannot even remember. It's been a minute. Uh, like 2019? 2019. Yep. It's a long time. Been You've been well? I've been well. Good after Pesa. Good after Pesa. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Just okay. hold on to that. <laughs> We're coming to talk about that. It is actually just, it's 5 p.m. And yep. we have our top five at five. So yep. I want DJ Max Jones. Yes. At one be Ninini and Ashesia for top five at five. Oh, yeah, so today is a bunch of new stuff. We have a whole lot boy with the song Hold Me Like a Grudge. The next mm -hmm. one will be I Prevail with the song There is Fear in Letting Go. The third one is Nothing But Thieves with the Do You Love Me Yet. The fourth one is Last Year's Tragedy. Uh, featuring Rish Intercessor. Mm -hmm. and the last one will be two year break, don't bring me down. All right. Yeah. Love it. Do you, you like every, you know every song on that? No, 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 no. All right, so there's a lot to catch up on. We have a lot to talk about. Yep. Because don't be aware you have been and all that. But first, um, I think we play the top five songs and then we come back and talk to Kanyeki. This is the time where if you have any question for our guest, to shout Kwambia Ako Studio. So if you have anything you want to know about Kanyeki, where, about his music, about his journey, anything, whatever you want to know about our guest, just come through at White Fefo channel. You can talk to us directly. We'll be asking him the questions when we come back. The hashtag is rock to white So we take a break, come back, play for you top five at five, and then we indulge our guest. Let's do that. Yes. Uh, so, to, uh, before we took that break, we told you to hang out with the one and only uh, Kanyeki. He's yeah. right here. He's a uh, Kikuyu gospel hard rock artist. He's a singer, songwriter, performing, and recording artist. But before we indulge him, I want us to just sample some comments right here. Nyo Nenanya ko tuned in. Na nitume salamu kidogo. Actually, before we do that, a quick reminder. We have a poll running on Twitter. Feel free to go vote at Rock Tour 254 Today we went to Nigeria. Nigerian ladies are going uh, head to head. We have Zainab Sule. She has a new one. It's called Inevitable. And she's going up against Clay. Uh, Clay Rocks You, who's also a Nigerian rock artist. She has a new one. She sampled Who's Your Guy. You know that song? She sampled it. Now we have a rock cover. So the poll is running. Zainab is taking an early lead 60 versus 40 that can change any time uh your vote counts so go vote your favorite song right other than that i want to send some salams to hey we're going to turn nakupenda right here on facebook anasema saseni sisi tiko poa labda wewe unasema nikolo representing all introverts from nakuru county keep rocking shout out to you kolo mad love to nak city nikona joseph um ready unasema play eminem eminem i think there's a rock yeah, yeah, there's a rock yeah. song yeah, yeah probably we'll go we'll get that nikona yvonne kashi unasema you're tuning in from umoja the is Lita Santen, Kona Edgar Hansam, or Nyahururu, or some Nyahururu tuned in a Santen, Kelvin KE, or some Olgi. Olgil Gay, Subukia, watching live. Uh, the show. Shout out to Subukia Santa, Nikona Baby Ashley, watching from Macha. Shout out to Macha, of course. Abdul, Abdul Razak, good to see you. Some up, rocker. How's uh, rockers? How's your weekend? Mine only starts when rock tour comes on air. Yeah, look at that. I love when How about Hero by Skillet? Uh, hit me up. I need a hero. You know, Skillet is actually a gospel yeah. rock band. Yeah. If you did not, now you know. All right, Nikona Nick Kelly, Unasama Kelly, drop for me. Uh, Gendra Nahawe by T uh, BTC Music UG. Uh, drop link, kindly drop your link. Alafu, they're gonna go through it. If it's uh, clean, why not? Nikona MC Bachelor K E G K, Unasama, you're inside. Asante Sana, Abu Bakar, Misingo. Kimilili, be to you watching till the end. Uh, thank you. Kelvin Tugi, I'm good. Feeling up, Nikuka, Rada, na Shazam. Where? He playlist ni fire. <laughs> Good work, DJ. I love it. I love it. I love it. And you call Abdi. Abdi na sema je. Abdi na sema rock and roll simply drifts away uh, to the atmosphere of formal uh, dialect. 
dialectic okay beyond your social concern a nuclear blast of reality in a mundane world where number one is allowed to be magnificent eh okay <laughs> if you get it if you don't get it <laughs> forget about it <laughs> Nikona Lydia, highly respect, shout out to you. Uh, kuna yu ingine, SEX on fire, kindly Leon and Mad World, tears for fears. We'll see what we can do, shout out to you. Nikona Collins, my name is Mahai Fili Njine, DJ Max Jones. Hi, hi to you too. Wana sema nakuru to call Tuned In, play for me, hold a lot live by Led Zeppelin. We're going to be doing that. Just keep it right here, keep it rock to what, 254. Because we love hearing it from you. And of course, now we get back to the interview. Like I told you, we have Kanyeki right here in yep. studio. Kanyeki, anaimba ngoma za rock, but in Kikuyu. You know, he's a Kikuyu rock artist. And we have the pleasure of having him in studio. Not the first time. The first time we had him was in 2019. And he's been away. Yep. But he's back. So have you been since the last time we saw you? What have you been up to? Uh, I think the last time we hear is the COVID thing. You know, uh, that was the, the last <laughs> I think, interview that you came and Corona, then, yeah. Corona was there. Mm. I did my last interview and then I left the country. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and you've been away, you've been away for a while. What do you miss most when you're outside uh, the country? Let me say food, right? Yeah, I know. Weather, mm. Mm -hmm. yeah, I know. Like, you know, like a lot of artists, a lot of friends who travel and when they get mm. back, they tell you. Weather, Kenyan weather is perfect. You know, it's not too hot, it's not too cold. Cold, yeah, definitely. Kuna mahali, joto, itakuwa. Alafu kuna mahali, it is too cold. Yeah. You're like, a wanangi jua. You know, there are places yeah, you never see the sun, like, like ever. Like a couple of months, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. For a couple of months, mm -hmm. jua imeenda. Na mkiyona mna wananga, like, you yeah. know, Peter. You know, you just see it when it's setting, but it doesn't get to you, you know. Sure. So, they say home is best. <laughs> hey, it's always home is the best place to be. <laughs> always. But let's talk about rock music. You know, yeah. um, when you're outside the country and you compare it to Kenya, how is there a scene where you are currently? Do they have a rock scene? And if they do, how do, does it compare to Kenya? Uh, I would say yes or no, but uh, I won't lie. Yeah. Because uh, I never judged myself in music when I was out there. Oh. Yeah. So you wouldn't even know? Uh, like, it's just no, like work no, and no, like... No. Work, right. work, work. But uh, probably next year, mm -hmm. I'm thinking of uh, doing something out there. Mm -hmm. And then I bring it back home. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Why not? Of course, we'd love to see the impact From the, the outside, outside yeah. world has yeah. had on you, of course, through yeah. music. Yeah. But also, um, you are a rock artist, sure. but you sing gospel music. And that is very controversial to some people. Kuna watu mbao wanasema, as long as ni rock, it does not glorify <laughs> God. In no way possible. Kuna mtu request Skillet, and I'm like, no. okay, Skillet is a gospel rock band. There are people who beg to differ. They're like, there is no way. As long as you're doing metal, it does not glorify God in any way. Uh, what would be your take on that, especially for critics who say that? Do you, what would you tell people uh, who think like that? Uh, to me, I think uh, the genre of music doesn't matter. Mm. What you do, uh, the go uh, actually, the message that you portray out there is what mm -hmm. matters mm -hmm. to me. Uh, it doesn't matter if you are doing the hard or metal, or you're doing death metal, or uh, uh, black metal, everything. Mm -hmm. As long as uh, the message that you're giving out is positive, mm -hmm. that's to me, that's, that's all to me. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, as long as message, what's the message? Message is the thing. <laughs> it's not a genre of music. See you about reggae, yeah, see you about no, nini. No, 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 no. As long as you want to be a mungu, excuse the message. the message. It is what matters the most. Oh, that's the bit, yeah. All right, all right. Like, yeah, like, this guy, <laughs> like these guys, they do like uh, more metal. Mm. This guy, I'm, I'm wearing that, uh, they call it Ohama. Mm -hmm. He's a band mm -hmm. from States. Mm -hmm. This guy, they do heavy music, but still gospel. Mm -hmm. So probably when you're listening, uh, you hear the music being played somewhere out there. Mm -hmm. Unless you get the message, mm -hmm. you say they're doing uh, other things, other stuff. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you have to be very intentional yeah, to listen to, to what... Yeah. Not, right. ju not just the, uh, the instrumental and everything, not just the drums and guitars and everything, and then you start judging from that. No. Mm. You lose, actually, you would get the, the, real, uh, the real theme of the, uh, of the song or the message of the thing. Okay. Yeah. 
Right, and um, especially in Kenya, I don't think we have a lot of gospel rock artists. These are oh, Rock yeah. of Ages, and then there's you. Yeah. Why? Okay, we have new bands coming up, sure. rock bands yeah. in Kenya. The scene is growing, of course, but very few. This is, I think, for me, I think we do to na Rock of Ages. Yeah. So, what would you think that is? You guys are not having a big impact on people. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to end that. Like, what are we supposed to do to make sure, like, a lot of people, you know, are following suit? Maybe in your footsteps. Uh, inside of gospel, I think. Uh, let me throw this back to church, but I'm mm -hmm. not judging any church any day. Mm -hmm. uh, they need to appreciate what you are giving out. Mm -hmm. uh, don't just go there and sing out uh, like a sing. You need uh, it's a rock thing, and uh, the, all they say they judge from. Mm -hmm. Uh, from what is been told like ages back there when you listen to this kind of music you're talking about the devil music and everything mm -hmm. No, that age is gone. We are like in 20, 21st century. Mm -hmm. Yeah, time is growing. Uh, time is going. Mm -hmm. So you, everything is changing mm -hmm. So for our own local scene here mm -hmm. uh, To do something with the rock or any uh, If anybody, they, they do the contemporary thing uh, say someone to do their own research and then uh, don't just do something because someone else is doing yeah come up with your own thing mm. and then from there package yourself try to push it out, out there and see what will happen all right yeah. okay I, I can concur with that but then um, I also wanted to ask you like now mm. you're here I know you you're, you're probably going to be leaving soon because of work yeah. do you have uh, since we still have you here are you maybe working on something with any Kenyan rock band maybe any collab before you leave because we you have a new song we'll talk about that but aside from just you dropping first a new video and everything yeah. do you are you working have you worked on anything else with any other artists are you planning on going to the studio with someone else before you leave uh, definitely no time is on my side actually I have only like three days then oh. <laughs> So, <laughs> so to pick a picture, <laughs> 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 we don't know how long uh, you're going to be gone for again, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for recording, no, mm -hmm. uh, no project, but only that one song, mm -hmm. one video. But most probably, maybe next year from around March or May, mm -hmm. more music is coming up. Yeah, uh, though I'm leaving some, some two or three projects. Ah. With the video, uh, actually, I have with like, the videos. Yeah, I mean, uh, like, like one just there. dropped. We'll, we'll talk about that. One just like I think that is very, very awesome because we talked about it. We've been yeah. playing your music and we talk yeah. about it. We're like, oh, when Kanyeki is back, yeah. we're gonna bring him to the show, and also probably he releases more music because to yeah. Mrata, na to Kona Nini, eh? Yeah, sure. Like the same song. So when you're talking about Kanyeki, we don't have like a lot to play. Mm. So now we do. Yeah. We're, we're gonna yeah. have actually like probably three new yeah. songs. Oh, yeah. Before, so we're gonna hold you to that. Whatever you're going, like I still have your number, so I'm just gonna be like, bro, we only have we still. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna hold you accountable. Sure. But that's actually, um, it's awesome that yeah. you're doing that. So probably the next time you're coming, I'll we can organize mm. that, right? Oh, yeah. Right, and uh, as an artist, also know, like probably when it comes to pushing your music, it's an investment that uh, a lot of people it, it requires a lot. But this is a Kurudisha Ilepes who may invest is also. <laughs> so, <laughs> is that the most challenging part? About what, what kind of challenges do you face as, a, as an artist? Especially as an artist who's not doing, um, mm -hmm. you know, who's not doing like a mainstream music, what everybody yeah. would yeah. go for. So, yeah. what are some of the limitations you have? Uh, one, uh, we should say, I think they are not me, but the Bible says that uh, a prophet is not accepted at home. Mm -hmm. yeah, and... Uh, that's one challenge. Mm -hmm. Secondly, is uh, like uh, production. Yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, when you talk about production, you need to give out something that uh, it, even if two, three, five years come down the line, mm. you still have the quality. Not just to do something like a uh, video only for one year. And then when you check out the, the, the quality, it's low. And so one challenge is, uh, I think, uh, to accept what you do. The second one is uh, the people to produce your music. Mm. Definitely, I think I know only two guys who can uh, do a good production when it comes to audio. Rock music, yeah, they yeah, yeah. Audio and uh, for video, not really. Mm -hmm. Only for audio. I know two guys. The guy who produced me actually is called Kemo. Mm -hmm. 
and uh Oh okay, no. Shout yeah. out to Kemo. Yeah. See it is we've had him on the show before, Marakada. See it's Kemo uh, the team uh, Yeah, last guy yeah. used to be my guitarist. Yeah. And then again he's saying no, I won't be doing the guitar, let me be producing your the audio. I'll be working on your audio. Yeah. That's my producer and uh Nick 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 Wavi. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Those are the only people that I know that I can uh, give you mm -hmm. when you talk about rock music or metal or everything. Those are They're two good. guys that I can advise you go to. I know, like, but have you ever tried working with another uh, producer who is not like a, who, they're not like a rock producer, just like a mainstream producer? Have you ever worked with them and maybe yep. they, like, it, they just didn't deliver? I mean, you <laughs> haven't given them a chance. I tried once. Mm. Uh, the song is called Kanyo Bakanyaki. Uh, it's the first song. It's mm. my first song. And, uh, the title, the, the, the album actually is called Kanyoba Kanyaki. Mm -hmm. still, the album is still... Uh, ni Kanyumba Kanyasi, right? Yeah, definitely. The, the, the heart. The, the, the heart, yeah. yeah. That song, the first, I went, I went for the first produ uh, producer. Mm. Uh, my idea was, I need a soft rock. I, I, I just told him I need a soft, soft rock thing. Mm. But what I got was like... Uh, <laughs> back then, we used to have Kapuka and a gang. It was in mm -hmm. between the... The two John. Yeah. yeah. Back then. They uh, didn't. Uh, <laughs> it was between Kapuka and Genge. It was something. <laughs> so it was just something that does not even have a definition. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and then, yeah. Uh, I had to go out again mm -hmm. uh, now to look for Kemo. That was back 2010. Yeah. And then I and Kemo have been working now from 2010. Yeah. You know, we are one. Yeah, but Kemo, you know, people only know him uh, like they think like he's only an artist, but he's a really big time uh, producer. Yeah. He works with even artists in Uganda, like w like mm -hmm. uh, there's some rock artists. Um, yes, uh, it was uh, a void of uh, Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. But void of? Yeah, I'm, I'm initial something like that. Yeah, the no. guys from UG, yes. Yes, I think, I think, am I? Is, are they? I'm not sure. Void of omniscient, are they? Kind no. Of. If I'm not wrong, the probably, yeah. probably, but yes, I also realized they record in Kenya. Yeah, Kenya Imagine, and there are yeah. so many studios in Uganda, there are so many producers they could go to, but they come yeah. to Kenya and they record with Kemo. Yeah. So I think he understands himself because I told him to come sign me. Hey, no, <laughs> Kemo's a big man, he's a but big he's thing. a big time producer. Yeah, yeah, all right. Um, I also wanted to talk about like the fact that you came now with mm. that Bure, you had an event last Saturday. A lot oh, of people oh. were so excited. No, you a Jillian also, who's been away <laughs> for too long. And you guys are like, I am. Like, people were yeah. so excited about that. So, what was your experience, especially being on stage after mm. such a long time? What was the feeling being back home, being on stage, the faces you know, very familiar faces? Let me say it was funny. Mm -hmm. uh, fun, funny. <laughs> in what uh, way? The last time I was in stage was 2019. <laughs> yeah. And then now we just came back to country, and then someone mm -hmm. just booked you for an event. Mm -hmm. Actually, that was my first day. We are meeting the, the whole band, actually. Mm -hmm. The day of the event. No! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Rewind, rewind, rewind. rewind. To Nigeria before event, band Patanam, yeah. and uh, practice, for mm -hmm. at least a week or two weeks. Yeah. Muna rehearse, rehearsal, like proper rehearsals. No, as we didn't have that time, mm -hmm. because uh, after came, uh, getting back, I was like, I, don't, I didn't know there's a gig coming up. Mm -hmm. So like after like two, I think two weeks to the gig, mm -hmm. you know, we have a gig to come up in there, two weeks. So talking to my guys, they are, I can't, they, all get, they are occupied, <laughs> they are working. So I'm like, like I mean, you look a jobless, kind of a jobless, so, so, yeah, 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 obviously. so the guys yeah. are all working. Mm -hmm. So they tell me, man, we cannot manage to do this. You can't manage to practice. We can't yeah. do this, we cannot. So let's, uh, all of us, the drummer do the drumming, the, uh, the people drum home. Mm -hmm. The guitarists, they work on their Practice own home. home. <laughs> so we just meet on the day. <laughs> you meet on the day of the show. To partner to figure, you should to If mm -hmm. I do the... But it was fun, you know? mm -hmm. We enjoyed it, yeah. It was yeah. fun. Uh, actually, I've been uh, sharing the stage with... Mili uh, <laughs> 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 side. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so it was fun. It was fun. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but 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 you had an amazing time mm. though, like being on stage and just doing what you love yeah. and having an audience who you know like it's a different thing having an audience and mm. having an audience who know what you're doing yeah. and they're singing along to what you're doing. Mm. Like I feel like that, that is very encouraging. Yeah, it was cool to a point where someone like 
can we do the karaoke thing? Can you do the lyrics without the drums and everything? It was fun. Yeah. yeah. So people are just singing without dramas. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah. yeah, it must be quite interesting. Yeah. All right, we'll talk about that because same venue, there's an event going down today. Oh. We'll tell about you. We'll tell you about that in a few mm -hmm. on Rock Post. But let's talk about your, your song. That yeah. You have a new song just came out. Is it today? Actually, the, the song, actually, you're the people you're having the song. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. Actually, Miss Sissi, it's Yeah, yeah. 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 So the new song. Yeah, but, Tell yeah, us about but, that. Uh, you need to take me back to the Bible. Actually, mm -hmm. the song that... Uh, mm -hmm. uh, for the audio, is not new, but mm -hmm. the video is new. The video is new, yeah. Yeah, and... Uh, basically, on the, when I learn my songs, they usually come from the Bible. It's mm -hmm. just, just something that I sit down and then... The pop about like I was walking in town and then something comes and then I just like something. No, no, it's, it's inspired by the world. I talk about my life, mostly my life, and uh, specific for this song, Mura mm -hmm. uh, simply comes from the book, uh, the Bible, uh, mm -hmm. the second, uh, second Chronicles. Mm -hmm. That's where I got the song from. Mm -hmm. uh, what does it say? Oh. <laughs> you wanna uh, know, right? Yeah. Second, cr Second Chronicles. What does he say? No, I don't. Know. I, I don't know the Bible here. Oh, you don't <laughs> have the back. Okay, sound. Yeah, Let's but uh, mm -hmm. what I wrote, I wrote something. Uh, I see the the book. Uh, the song comes from the Second Chronicles mm -hmm. twenty seventeen, mm -hmm. which is uh, basically the song is to tell or to encourage us as human beings, mm -hmm. Christian or non Christians, mm -hmm. and those who to trust on the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. To have faith. Uh, to pray for the battle, and uh, by the end of it all, mm -hmm. the battle belongs to the Lord. And we'll the there. battle belongs to the Lord. Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. And for the people who haven't heard the song, we have the privilege to, yeah. you know, just we have the song, we had the privilege to get the song first, and the DJ has it. So I'm thinking we play it and then we mm -hmm. come wrap it up. Why not? No. DJ Max. Let's do that. All right. <laughs> 